Yeah, I'm Whitey Reese, uh, retired Army. In uh, 46, I joined the uh, Missouri National Guard. And uh, from there, I went into the regular Army in uh, 1948. Went down to uh, Fort Knox, Kentucky, took my basic training, went through a couple of leadership courses down there, and then uh, headed out for my first overseas assignment. I got to uh, Japan with the 1st Cav Division, 8th Cav Regiment, uh, in December of 48. Uh, I spent about 19 months there. Uh, it was actually it was just outside of Tokyo. wasn't too bad of duty either. <laughs> uh, I spent about 19 uh, about 19 months there, and the Korean War broke out. Being an infantry unit, uh, it got a little rough at times. I spent the first year there. Our actual uh, toughest fighting was in about probably September of 1950, back around Taegu. Uh, from there, uh, from there on, the next roughest was probably the uh, Battle of Unsan. That one got a little hairy at times. Uh, took me about five days to get back to my own friendly lines there. Uh, there was one there was one instance that I'll never forget there. After the Battle of Unsan, I took a five-man patrol. Uh, oh, our unit was back in uh, reserve, and the snow was about two feet deep. I took a five-man patrol out to a little town. It was a recon patrol, no combat patrol. And uh, we, spotted, we spotted six six guys in the town, it was in the middle of the night, visibility real good. They was wearing red star pile caps and armbands with a red star on it. Well, against my orders, we just captured their ass, brought them back in, and uh, of course that wound up to be the wrong thing to do because uh, it, uh, it turned out that the South Korean Army <laughs> had installed these guys in this little town as a security force. Needless to say, I was in a, I got a few reprimands there. Shortly after the first of the year in 51, I did have to come back home to the States on a short emergency leave. While I was here, while I was here, I met up with Mickey, my wife, I met up with Mickey, and she then became my wife, and I immediately had to go back to uh, my organization in Korea. I, now, back in September, before I went on this emergency leave, uh, around the Taegu perimeter, that's where I did pick up my Purple Heart uh, hand grenade one night. Uh, they'd been hitting us three or four times a night, and one of those nights I got hand grenade fragments up around the side of my head. One little piece in my leg, that piece disappeared. I don't know where it got there. After my Korean service, uh, I came on back home and uh, got assigned out to uh, Berlin, Germany. Uh, however, this was immediately after I got, in, got out of the infantry and into um, communication security, and I ran the uh, communication uh, uh, facility for the uh, Berlin commander there for quite a while. Came back, came on back home, got assigned to Arlington, Virginia. This is where some interesting service got started. Um, I pulled a lot of TDY there, and uh, but one of my TDY trips was down to. Uh, Christmas Island. I ran the uh, 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 communication service, the crypto communication service for the chief scientist down there. I uh, got to witness uh, 11 A-bomb blasts, which the, the heaviest one was uh, about 15, mega, uh, 15 megatons. That'll put the fear into you looking, in, <laughs> looking inside that uh, fireball. 
After that, I come on back to Arlington Hall, Virginia, pulled a couple of trips to uh, Vietnam as a chief instructor, and uh, in the middle of this, our organization transferred down here to uh, Fort Huachuca. I continued pulling uh, TDY trips, mostly to Vietnam. Uh, that, that brought me up to retirement from the Army. I figured my time was about up. Retired from the Army, and of course, I couldn't just do anything. So I went on board with civil service. I worked out on the East Range of the Ford out there for quite some time as a facility manager of the uh, antenna test facility. And that's where I finally retired from Fort Huachuca. And uh, after that, well, I, I think most of my time is just taken up with uh, uh, volunteer service. Uh, I do a lot of volunteer service for the uh, uh, shooting range, the Sierra Vista shooting range, and also for the uh, uh, local Purple Heart outfit, MOPH Chapter 572. Which brings me up to this right here and the rocking chair out on the front porch. <laughs>